Hello my beautiful girls, this is me, Princess Alexa, and today I'm back with a new video. And we're gonna be testing, I believe this is gonna be the part two of the new drugstore makeup video. And um, yeah, this is the part two. So I said that I could not review because it was already a long of a video, so I didn't want it to take more time, you know, from you dolls, but since you guys seems to like long videos so that's why i'm doing it and um, but this is not gonna be that long because it's just the rest of the makeup so um if you're interested and you wanna see how i try these new products just keep on watching okay so we got this maybelline uh the city kids urban light this is a cheek palette plus eyes so it says here, it kind of shows you on the back how you're supposed to apply it and all that. It has highlighter and it has blush. And this is, remember, this is the color 150 Urban Light. Four shadows for one look and four shadows for two looks. So it's a total of eight eyeshadows. This seems to be the blush and this one the highlighter. Let's just swatch, you know, give it a world. <laughs> So as I said, I'm gonna try first these two over here. Yeah. But um, yeah, they're like kind of creamy. And let's try it over here. Wow, that blush. But I already got blush. I don't know it has a blush. Should I read it? And the highlighter looks so sparkly. That's that thing I'm gonna try. The, the first row I'm gonna try then four eyeshadows so let's see my face is too much light okay so this is how it looks like so they are very shimmery as well as you can see here they're super pretty and it, now let's try these um four over here these two first pretty these are like so far I'm loving this so much. Okay, now I'm gonna try these two over here. You can try it over here. Um, I don't know if you don't see this. They are very pigmented even though they are glittery, but to be glittery, they are pigmented. You know, like a lot of maids, but I love it. So far, so good. As I said, they are very, very pretty. So, okay, now I guess this is one look and this is another look. I think I'm gonna be trying this one, obviously, because I'm wearing pink. So that's gonna be the one. I don't wear any, you know, primer for the eyeshadows. I just wanna try it as it. The only thing I have is concealer because I just gonna try the eyeshadows without anything because that's what I wanted on the get -go, just to see how they perform they are so far they look really pretty with this swatch but um, I don't know I will see so first I don't see any transition color okay let's see what they suggest here they say like for okay the look two is supposed to be the one with the dark so the look one is the one with the lighter one and it says that the one is for what Look at what it says that the one it goes over here, like all the way over here, and the, the two is for all over over here. Yeah, the three for the inner corner, and the four is for the outer corner. Let's see if we can recreate what they're teaching us here to do. Normally, I want to do this, so let's just start. It sounds crazy, but let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Um, it's Lutzy 207 medium angle shading so this is going over here okay so let's try that oh, that's crazy that looks crazy let's get more why, why would they do that put like a darker color over there because it looks very pink not very very pink but you know okay so that goes like under the brow bone i guess so that's what is showing on the picture the one 
Aquí en going back and forth. Because it doesn't seem to be showing too much. Okay, so that's that with the first one. And then this second one is on the rest of the lid, I guess. Let's get this brush. And this is the wet and wild. We're gonna use it and put it all over the lid on the center part. So you get the this one that is right beside the darker because that's what they say you're supposed to. Okay. Many more. I actually don't see it. <laughs> you don't have to wear the because I don't see it. Let me try with my finger to see if it will do something better. You can see it over here. Hmm. Very subtle. You cannot see it. Well, let me apply it again. Pinky, it looks pinky though. Like, I don't know if you're able to, you'll be able to see it, but it kind of looks pinky. It's not as oof, so dramatic. Let me try if I wet it with a different brush because we want to see um, how it performs, right? Okay, let's wet the brush. Wow, look at what it did to the pan. It changed the color of it. It looks golden now. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. It kind of performs better, you know, wet, with a wet brush. It changed totally. Look at that difference. See, look, without and wet. See the difference? Let's try the other eye. When you wet the brush, it can is is rose gold, and that is crazy. You are definitely gonna be using this wet. And now it says that the number three goes in the inner corner. Okay, with a smaller brush, and this is an elf too. I'm gonna be using this color right here. I think let's try it without wetting it and then we wet it so this is to put it right in the inner corner and i like to drag it over here even though it says just the inner corner but whatever okay so it kind of seems like anything it looks like nothing i think everything here has to be with a wet brush now I wet it and now let's see. Oh yeah, definitely. So I totally recommend when, whenever you're gonna, if you're gonna use glitter or any metallic and glittery eyeshadows, so it has to be wet brush, it has to be your fingers, wet brush, or setting a spray, whatever you want to use, as long as it's wet. The performs better when it's wet. So what I'm seeing here. It's settled though, it's not like super, super bright. But it's settled. At least this look. Nice as the number four is the darker. Kind of like that one right there. So with that is going in the outer corner, so I have to get a pointing brush. And loose purplish. Can you tell? It's like purplish. So you just put it on the outer bit of your eyelid. Try to blend it. To or circle motions like this, kind of blend. It. And with this one, I don't think you need to wet it. I think that is fine, just like this. You just gotta add it more, unless you want it this too harsh. I don't want it too harsh, so that's why I'm doing it with a dry brush. You just do it on the eye socket of the crease. 
of your eyeball. You see the eye socket there. That's where you're gonna do the crease. This where your eye creases kinda. To me, my eye creases, I think, over here, but I like to do it where the eye socket is, see? So, I think it kind of removed, you know, like, if following their steps, it kind of removed the, um, the eyeshadow, that pretty gold shade eyeshadow. I'm going to redo it, just put it a little bit over here, kind of like, you know. That's pretty. I love it. Right there. So overall, I will say I like it. Like for a very subtle now that it's summer, I think it's perfect because if you want to go to the beach and you know what, as soon as the sun ray hits your face, that sparkling glitter will show off and you will look like radiant, you know? Like, oh my god, is that the sun or is an angel coming down from heaven? Now I want to try these Maybelline Master Holographic. I thought it was Master Chrome. Okay, so it's, pris it's a prismatic highlighter and it just sold me the name. I do have the other holographic, however, the other holographic you can barely see it. I'm just gonna give it a swatch. So you guys can see. So let's try it over here. That is pretty. See, it's kind of shocky, but it doesn't look like it doesn't have that white cast, you know, underneath it. So it's very pretty. Okay, let's try with a plumbing brush. I like to use this kind of brush for that. It does kick a lot, but you know what? I hope it performs really good. So let's see. Can you see that? I barely can see it though. I can see a hint of purple though. I don't know. Maybe you have to build it up. Let's try it one more time. I don't know what you those think. Let's try with a fan brush. So, so far, I don't like it how it looks there. Maybe with a fan brush can do a difference. So you those can see that. It looks better with the fan brush. I don't know what it is. With the fan brush. See that? Yeah, with the fan brush it looks way better. So I'm gonna try here with the fan brush. So that's why the fan brush was originally made for highlighters. <laughs> okay, now let's try it with a regular brush. And this is just to do it on the on the lips to see. How, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. See this? Now I'm gonna look like Ariana Grande. You know what? I might use this for the inner corners. Yes, because you don't need to wait nothing. Just to give it a little hint of purple. And then you're going to do this over here. Wow, that's too purplish. I might be crazy, but you know. Oh, that's pretty. See, it doesn't look that bad. Gorgeous. Now I have these two L'Oreal Infallible lipsticks and it's a scented lipstick, so I got two colors because I already got like two other that are very similar. <laughs> you know me those, that this is my color. I like the nude colors. For my skin tone, it's perfect. So I got it in the color A48. And I have the 854, so I don't know which one to try those. One seems to be like chocolatey. I think for this look it's too chocolate, but I can do this swatch over here. See? And the other, these are like old proof, these can last days. 
this definitely. So 848 dozen cocoa. So I'm gonna get this one. And let's try it. Sorry, you know, I never like my my lips because I don't know. But I'm gonna try this one. I don't know if you dolls you got dolls gotta see me here, okay? Oh, it smells like hot cocoa. I love it. it. Makes me wanna eat it. Hot cocoa with cookies. <laughs> Love it. It's got my skin tone. I wanna believe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got a new favorite lipstick. That is very, very beautiful. I love it. I have another more products to try also these needs i haven't even opened these okay i had no nails not to open it but uh, i'll figure it out and i have these ones uh that i try one but the other three i haven't tried these are the, these four needs and i don't know which one to try today well, I already, this is my favorite. I don't know if you can see. Let me see which one it is. Is this one, I think. Yeah. This is the one I use the most because it's pinky yet with the golden undertone. And that one is in the color that I normally use. This is the one I've been using since I bought it. I was like, okay, I'm going to try this and I want to try this on camera. Because I never, you know, uh, knew how, how they look like on. So, um... Yes, these are Duo Chromatics Knits Lip Gloss and this is in the color Spring It On, okay, it's the DCLG10 and I'm going to be using because I already used that one. Oh, this was like too goldy for today, I don't know, it had like green and hint undertone I guess which I don't think it's gonna match with, my, uh, with this look, this makeup look. And this is in the color Cocktail Party. Yeah, see, it's sealed. They are sealed. This is the only one that is open. It's the one that I open. It. It's the one that I've been using because it's, it's using my previous videos. Is this one. It's really, really pretty. I don't know why I just open all of them. Okay, so this one is in the color Booming. And this is spread. I think this will match with my uh, makeup. And this one is crushing it. It's kind of like white, but it has like iridescent color. So let's see. I can do like. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like purplish. Is wiring okay? Let's say I don't know. Okay, let's try this one. Screen, no way. What? And this one looks green. I mean, like it is, I don't know, it looks green a lot with a kind of like a chrome color I don't know let's see this looks crazy okay let's try this one in the middle what how oh, is so different what I know believe wow this is the prettiest I guess I don't know if you guys can tell this <laughs> now it's like a transition of this three colors they are pretty does it look crazy I don't know it's all together mm -hmm. oh wow now that I miss them all together they look so pretty it looks like nothing it does look like nothing it disappeared the color you know it has the hints though kind of like it's weird but it looks pretty Okay, let's move on to the eyeliner. Let's see if I can open these before I do the eyes. 
I want to do these swatches of the of these four colors. So these are the swatches. Okay, so now let's do the liner. I never tried this before. I tried the needs one, but it was certainly not like this for sure. This has, is so long. They change the packaging. Well, this is matte and the one I have before. I think it's easy to grab too. So the other that I, I used to have, it was shiny from Nits. I love Nits Cosmetics. And you can find it at Walmart or Target. I know a lot of people don't like to do the liner on camera because they screw up. And they don't want to be able to fix it. That's pretty. So far I've been loving the cap on the ones, but this one is pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish the rest of the makeup and I will bring you back to put the new setting spray that I'm gonna be trying. This is by Flower Beauty, seal the deal. Hydrating setting spray is a dewy finish, so I will do it as soon as I put everything on. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this uh, Flower Beauty setting spray and it, this is called seal the deal <laughs> let's seal the deal here and, and as i said this is in the dewy finish so oh because we are looking kind of mad here so let's see it's the first time i want to try it so let's spray it up oh wow it feels like a mess i don't know if i'm pointing it right let's see Let's get this baby. All right, so this is it. So how do you like the look? We'll see how it performs throughout the day to see to find out if it's a good setting spray or if it comes off. You, I put a lot, kind of, so we'll okay. see my final thoughts of the products. Alright, so as I said, okay, my final thoughts of the drugstore products. Okay, so I do like this palette. I think it's like for a daytime look, like if you're going to the beach, when you don't want to wear like makeup, no makeup kind of thing like this. Even though it's, it's it looks summery, it's like a spring summer, I love it. I left me some glitter so I think this is gonna be one of my favorites for summer so it don't have to be everything like all out no no go big or go home no go small and stay home or go to the beach or whatever princess Alexa approved this message again about the um this holographic highlighter from Maybelline I do like it However, it has to be with fan, with a fan brush because you're racing, and it's not like oof, blinding. It's gonna settle like you know during the day. I think would be perfect. It have a little kind of glittery effect, and you see, it doesn't look like oh my god, that girl is coming out of space. No, that girl is not coming from outer space. Okay, that girl is staining Earth just with a little hint of color because she's cool. Okay, so I do like it a lot for summer beachy kind of look. I love it. So I'm gonna definitely keep trying this. About these needs to be plus, I totally like them. These are funky as heck, but you know, we're in summer, everything is funky and nice. So I totally like these colors, all of them. Even if it looks crazy just when you apply it, but you twist the remote around they are super super pretty and glittery and you saw it just this is approved too i love it and about this l'oreal obviously i love it i'm gonna have to try the darkest one in another video because not for this look 
but I love this meal. I love. Uh, look how it stays. Oh my goodness, that thing is not coming off. So yeah, I totally love L'Oreal lippies because they are amazing. And this NYX eyeliner, look dolls. I'm gonna tell you dolls. This is something else. I love it. And I'm currently using the tattoo liner by Kat Von D, which I love. And this is in the color black. I, I don't know if I ever mention it. But yes, it's the neat. It looks like this. Neat matte liquid liner. It's super good. See, it dries matte. I think the shiny part is because of the glue, the lashes glue. And don't look at it, okay? <sighs> also, about these uh, flower beauty setting spray. <laughs> I just put it on, and I don't know. I don't see any difference though. It looks so dewy, but it not looks so matte. I mean, it's kind of like to look normal, <laughs> right? I don't know, maybe it's kind of to look normal. What do you think? Because it's not doing on me. I mean, not look dewy. Do it. Does it? I love this look. It's so pretty. It's very natural. I wanna believe. Also for the lashes, I'm wearing this. I wore, I think I wore this. I can't remember. I bought them. I bought them not long ago, but maybe I did it for that tutorial. Yeah. Maybe I just don't remember. But they are super pretty, and super natural. Like you see here, they are like wispy eyelashes. And these are by Keys, and th those are supposed to be new. All right, you know, so this is it, and I'll just keep you posted throughout the day how it performs, everything, you know, and then I'll let you know. And I love you so much, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification button. I always forget what it is. I think it's over here the bell notification button and also the subscribe button over here so don't forget to hit it and see those on my next one huh my next video on my next video i'll see you on my next video so easy breezy no color girl because i don't have color girl just don't don't click out i love this video like this video comment below if you don't like it keep watching it anyway you don't lose anything Right? Bye. Okay, so everything seems not to be transferring or coming off with that setting spray. You know, my tea zone is oily. The glitter is coming off. See, but you know, like so far, it's a good setting spray. <laughs> and the makeup is still intact. Yeah. So what did you see here? Then lips. I'm amazed because I ate and I still have the lip gloss. I got the, obviously the lip L'Oreal lipsticks are but the lip gloss though that is neat is you see it's not sticking but it stays put. That's weird but it's awesome. Alright, so that's it. See you on my next video. God bless you all. Bye.